What's going on YouTube? James Prigioni coming to you live from Jersey. It's August 23rd. Showing you guys how the garden looks. I haven't been out here for a week. I went away for a couple days down to Tennessee to go look at a couple properties. Uh, great experience. Learned a lot. There's one potential property that we're really looking at. I wish I would have shot some video of the property, but I was kind of too excited when I was out there. I didn't even take any pictures, so I would have loved to get your guys' opinion on what what do you think of the property and whether it was a good investment, but I just don't have the, uh, the pictures and stuff. I didn't make a video. The property was, I think, nine and a half acres. Only about five of it was good for growing food. There was a hillside that took up a couple acres. But uh, five acres or so that was good for growing food and was nice pasture, you know, real nice, fertile, soft ground, not just clay, in a valley in Tennessee. So it was a really beautiful place. Just wanted to kind of show you guys how everything's doing grapes and everything are doing great. A lot of them are ready to pick. But you gotta get out here and pick them tomorrow. Just want to show you how things look. You can see uh, it really from not coming out here for a whole week, not coming out here at all, not even being around. You could tell how much the system really takes care of itself. You know, you, probably, you basically can't even tell that I haven't been out here. There's things that have should have been have gone to seed and should have been collected like the dill and stuff. There's tomatoes that are over ripened and kind of rotted on the vine, but plant is where the potatoes were. But for the most part, everything is really taking care of itself. That's the main reason I want to get a bigger property because this may look huge from the video, but this really isn't that big at all. This is really a small section. It's got a, planted very dense, you know, in the urban style. It's got between 18 and 20 fruit trees in it. But this system can really be uh, scaled up. As you can see, it takes very little maintenance from me. So if I was trying to hand till and do classic gardening on three acres or so, I just wouldn't have the man hours, enough manpower to get it done. But if you could set up a system like this, design it to be basically maintenance free, producing food in the future, then you really can't beat that. So that's the idea, that's where I learned a lot of that from Joel South, and I got to meet Joel South, and we saw his farm, that was amazing. Met with Aaron Thatcher, that was a great time, he showed us the property. Really a good guy, great family. So, we had an awesome experience, we learned a lot. Learned a lot about uh, searching for property, and just got to get away from the hustle bustle of Jersey for a while, which was a great experience. So I'll probably give you guys a more in-depth tour later at a different time. This is just, you know, how you doing? I'm back, showing you the garden. Then you know everything's all good. James Prigioni. Here's the view from the side, guys. Just uh, showing you what everything looks like. The trees are doing real well. A lot of the trees are doing great. Peaches are doing great. Well, the stone fruits in general are doing great. Apples are lagging behind a little bit and the pears, but they'll be all right. They're both in the same family as well, so you can kind of tell that the stone fruit just either likes this location better or, or the way we're doing it, they, uh, they like that better. Sorry, I gotta slow down a little. Just sitting in here, guys, in the middle of the food forest, surrounded by food. A lot of the stuff's going to seed. I gotta go through and collect carrot seed. There's a whole bunch right here. Falling out. One little one. There's just so many in there, though. Apple tree from seed is doing amazing. It's almost as tall as the apple tree that we put in last year. Look at that. That's when we had planted. This is when we put from seed. Look at that. Amazing. So it's nice being in here surrounded by food. It's a good feeling. I've got grapes right in front of me. Broccoli leaves right next to me. I've got some pineapple sage, carrots on the ground. Another apple tree from seed right in front of me. 
beautiful flowers, marigolds, more grapes to the side of me. So, this is what I think living's like, guys. Thanks for tuning in. James Prigio. What's going on guys, August 24th, the day after I uh, did the previous video. So this is the garden, the harvest, after we got back from Tennessee, no one took care of it or anything, no one watered it or did anything, because we really don't do any maintenance anyway, so we still got a decent harvest, bunch of tomatoes and stuff. Most of these tomatoes I think I'm just going to end up saving seed from, because we already have so many to eat. So I'll probably just ferment most of these, save the seed from them, and uh, that'll be it. This will be next year's garden, basically. A lot of the seeds for it. And I'll try to do a better job this year of marking things and uh, labeling everything so I know which variety I'm planting. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. Appreciate you following along. All the glory to Yahweh Elohim. James Prigioni is out.